time for Michael Morales Torres and Lucha Libre Online. Saludos a toda la afición de la Lucha Libre. Este que les habla es Michael Morales Torres, integrante del equipo de Lucha Libre Online. Y tenemos el enorme privilegio, gente, de presentarles a nuestra invitada especial en la tarde de hoy de Los Ángeles, California para el Mundo, pero en directo desde Tampa, Florida, gente. Ella es la primera eh, guitarrista en la historia de tener una guitarra signature de Ibáñez. Ella es la cuarta mejor guitarrista del mundo de la década anterior, eh, según esta prestigiosa revista. Y ella es la guitarrista de Alice Cooper, leyenda de leyendas. Nito Strauss, the hurricane arrives here on Lucha Libre Online. Miss Strauss, it is an honor for us to have you here as our guest. How are you doing today? Thank you so much. I wish you could introduce me every day. <laughs> so nice. I'm great. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for that compliment and for being here with us. I just wanted to start the interview asking you, how did your passion for the music industry started? I mean, which was the artist that engaged you enough to do this for the rest of your life? Uh, well, my father is a musician, so I, I really got my love of music from him. Uh, I started playing guitar around 13 years old and uh, I saw a movie called Crossroads and in the movie Crossroads uh, there's a young guitar player who has a battle with the devil's guitar player who's a guitar player named Steve Vai and that was the the biggest inspiration for me in my journey. Perfect. I'll translate that. Su papá era un yep. músico, que es lo más importante. A sus 13 años vio una película llamada Crossroads y uno de los personajes de eso, de esa película, fue la que le inspiró. Pero lo importante es su papá era un músico. Entonces, Janita viene de una segunda generación y de un linaje de música, que es algo muy importante. Which was the first person who granted you an opportunity inside the music industry? You know, I, for many, many years, uh, I toured by myself. You know, like I would have my own band. We really, you know, we would find opportunities. I don't think for many years there was no opportunity really given to us. You have to create opportunity. You know, we drove ourselves in a van on tour. You know, we sold t-shirts to make enough money to get to the next show. Uh, so it was really just, you know, putting in the hard work. Perfect. I'll translate that. Eh, ¿Quién fue la primera persona en darle la oportunidad? Bueno, por muchos años Nita Strauss estuvo en tours, en autobuses, eh, forzándose por sí misma y buscando esta oportunidad hasta que por fin llegó. Uh, and my question for you is, how did the Alice Cooper opportunity happen? I mean, he's a living legend inside the rock industry. Yeah. So for you as a, as a musician, but specifically as a woman, how does it feel for you to be part of this incredible journey? It's so exciting to play guitar for a legend like Alice Cooper, uh, you know, to get to put a, a feminine spin on his incredible show, you know, to get to show girls around the world that women can go out there and play with a legend like that and rock. It's a great feeling. Perfect. I'll translate that. Obviamente, Alice Cooper, la leyenda viviente, ella es su guitarrista principal. Y tener la oportunidad por las mujeres y por todo el mundo que está allá afuera de darle un toque femenino a la música de esta leyenda simplemente se siente excelente. Uh, how's been your experience working for Alice Cooper? Like, we know everything about the, the musician, the artist, but how's working with the human being? Alice is definitely the most gracious person that you'll meet. He's so kind to his fans. He loves meeting people, talking with people, hearing the fan stories. Uh, you definitely learn a lot about being, being a good person playing with him. Translate that. Alice obviamente es una persona muy agraciada, es una persona muy agradecida también, y es una persona que te enseña mucho a tú ser una persona buena, vamos a decirlo así, dentro de una industria que es bastante uh, complicada. Something interesting is going to happen, but to get to that first is, uh, how do you start watching pro wrestling? Like, you're going to be appearing tonight at NXT TakeOver, Stan and Deliver, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, WWE Network, Peacock, uh, USA Network as well. You will be opening the, the WrestleMania week for everyone. But to get to that part, how did your passion for pro wrestling started? So my boyfriend, Josh, is the one that introduced me to pro wrestling. Uh, growing up, I didn't watch TV at all. My parents were very strict, uh, no TV. So uh, I only discovered... Uh, watching wrestling maybe four years ago, four or oh. five years ago, uh, when Josh, Josh, who has loved pro wrestling his whole life, 
So he really was the one that uh, got me into it and started me watching it. I'll translate that. Su novio Josh fue la persona que le muestra la industria de la lucha libre por primera vez en su vida hace aproximadamente cuatro años. Y de ahí en adelante, entonces es que Nita dice como que, ok, I'm, I'm hooked y llega ahí directamente. Yes. <laughs> uh, something incredible happened in your career and it was your first performance for WWE. It's not any performance. WrestleMania 34, Shinsuke Nakamura just winning the Royal Rumble against AJ Styles, but in front of 78,000 plus wild fans. How was that experience, that mind-blowing experience for Nito Stross? It was absolutely incredible. I mean, just thinking about it now gives me chills how exciting it was. <laughs> you know, um, people, people wait their whole life for a WrestleMania moment and I got to have one. And uh, getting to play Shinsuke's incredible song, hearing the crowd singing it back, singing the melody was just an amazing experience. Translate that. Obviamente, es lo más grande que puede ocurrir una persona tener ese WrestleMania moment. Y Nita Stross lo tuvo. WrestleMania 34, 78 mil personas pendientes ahí, estando todos los ojos encima de ella. La entrada de Nakamura, quien, o sea, ese es el momento de WrestleMania. Y Nita tuvo la oportunidad de tenerlo así de la primera. After that, you played in an incredible event just for women all around the world. Like, this was a huge milestone for every woman out there trying to do this for a living. So evolution, Nita's trust, how did that happen? Like who contacted you to be a part of this? Uh, that was WWE's music team. You know, they, they had this incredible idea for an all-female pay-per-view and to get to stand next to Lizzie Hale, who is such an incredible artist and perform the evolution theme song, definitely an honor. And, uh, you know, to be a part of such a historic women's match, a night of women's wrestling, really an honor. I'll translate that. Eh, obviamente ya eh, tuvo la oportunidad de tocar en Evolution, un evento solamente para mujeres. El equipo de la música de WWE fue quien la contactó y a través de o sea, tener la oportunidad de tocar con Lizzie ahí, el mismo, el mismo escenario, una genio al igual que ella. Eh, Mind blowing, como ella misma describió en, en el momento anterior, porque es como que es el, el, el término. Y vamos a, I'm also going to say something else in Spanish. Esta noche, NXT, Take Over, Stand and Deliver, 8 de la noche, Peacock, WWE Network, USA Network, Nita Strauss, you will be the person to open WrestleMania week. What an honor. How does it feel for you? <laughs> you talk about mind blowing. I mean, you know, it's, it's an exciting, it's an exciting time to have WrestleMania because, you know, the world has been shut down for the last year. You know, we all watched WrestleMania last year at the Performance Center and, you know, it was different. It was great, but very different. So now, you know, they're going to have fans there this weekend. They're going to have, you know, the, the stadium feeling for the wrestlers and to be the one to sort of start it off right. Uh, I'm just very, very honored and very happy and Uh, we're going to make it nice and loud. Triple H's instructions were, let's get loud. We're going to get loud. I'll translate that. Eh, se siente obviamente agraciada y se siente afortunada y feliz de ser la persona que abra mañana. Bueno, no mañana no. Hoy, NXT TakeOver, esa semana de WrestleMania, es lo más grande que se puede. Y Triple H le dio una instrucción. Quiero que sea lo más ruidoso posible. Let's get loud. Y Nita Strauss va a llevar loud a NXT TakeOver. Stand uh, uh, deliver esta noche. Uh, Nita. There's something that many people don't know about your your life and your career, and it's that you practice Muay Thai and, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu mm -hmm. often. And this yes. may be a weird and bizarre question, but Bad Bunny is already on the card. We've seen many artists done <laughs> this before. Uh, you have an MMA background. You have a larger-than-life personality, and you're a renowned star. Would you be interested in the future in maybe working a program with WWE or an MMA fight? Um, WWE, absolutely. You know, pro wrestling, definitely. MMA fight, not so much. <laughs> you know, like uh, when I, you know, if I train in Muay Thai or, or boxing or Jiu-Jitsu, it's more for, for fitness than really a serious MMA training. So Uh, I think I think I wouldn't go for, you know, I'm not going to go CM Punk's route and take an MMA fight, but, you know, definitely I would have fun, you know, doing a hurricanrana off the top rope sometime, for sure. I'll translate that. Eh, le pregunto, Nita Soros tiene un background en MMA, en Muay Thai, en Brasil, en Jiu Jitsu. Me dice, le pregunto si le interesaría en algún momento dado luchar para WWE. Me dice, WWE, definitivamente sí. MMA, ah, no tanto. Eh, si en Pong ya tuvo su momento, ya no, como que no es para mí. 
pero, pero sí, WWE sí le interesa y hay una movida en específicamente la huracanada de la tercera cuerda, es algo como que, que en algún momento dado pudiéramos estar viendo por allí. Uh, Nita, as a woman in the music industry. It's perfect. Huracanada, Hurricane Nita. Hurricane Nita, yes, it's, it's, it works perfectly. Uh, just wanted to ask, um, uh, as a woman, inside the, the music industry, you are in a position that was uh, for men, generation through generation, and for you to be there, breaking the stereotype, doing something completely different, it's something amazing. Uh, how does it feel for you as a woman to be on the position you are today? Uh, it's definitely a, a powerful feeling to be in a position to inspire young women to pick up a guitar and do what I do, you know, because what I do is fun. Uh, playing guitar is fun and playing on tour in a band, I, I think for a long time was, you know, like you said, is a, a role for a man and women are intimidated by it. It's this crazy scene and it's not safe for women. And, um, and the reality is, you know, there's no perfect safe place for women, but the rock music scene is an incredible place for women to be and thrive and do amazing things. So if I can insp keep inspiring people to do that, I'll feel very, very good. Perfect. Uh, sencillo y al grano, si ella tuviese la oportunidad de continuar inspirando personas a través de la música en una posición privilegiada en la que está ahora, ella va a seguir haciendo esto constantemente por el resto de su vida. Hire Gone on Netflix, that has to be some scary stuff. Like to be a musician is something but to be an actress is something completely different. So how easy or difficult was it for you to do the transition into the Hollywood industry? Well, you know, Hired Gun was, was a bit different because it's just a documentary. So really, uh, it wasn't really acting. I was really just talking to them as I'm talking mm -hmm. to you now, you know, about my experience, my life. Uh, however, I was actually in a series uh, that just came out on Amazon Prime called Paradise City, where I did do some acting, <laughs> not very much. I still sort of played, uh, you know, a female guitar player, but uh, definitely different, you know, having to memorize, you know, the words to say and stuff. Definitely a different, different animal. Perfect. Me menciona que el documental Hired Gun era eso mismo. Un documental estaban hablando dos personas normal que no fue tan retente, pero sí eh, tiene ahora una serie llamada Paradise City. Está disponible, disponible para todos en Amazon Prime. Y ahí entonces van a poder un poco ver un poco de la actuación de Nita. I also want to say something else in Spanish. Instagram at Hurricane Nita. Instagram at Hurricane Nita. Twitter at Hurricane Nita. Ahí la pueden seguir de igual manera a todas las personas. Patreon.com slash Hurricane Nita. Patreon.com slash Hurricane Nita. Ahí pueden encontrarla. Eh, toda, toda esa publicidad y todas esas fotos y todo ese contenido exclusivo de Patreon en patreon.com slash hurricane Nira y por último Control Chaos Control Chaos disponible para todos ustedes en Amazon Music al igual que en iTunes y en todos los servicios de música Nita, it's been an honor for us to have you as our guest uh, and the last question is regarding Control Chaos uh, What inspired you to create this album and what can you speak about this, uh, I believe, 11 track album you, you wrote? Yeah, Controlled Chaos was my first step out as a solo artist. So really, I think that album uh, is just me. You know, it has songs that are aggressive. It has songs that are happy. It has songs that are very emotional. Uh, so it's really just, it's just me, uh, plain and simple. Uh, Control Chaos es un álbum que ella escribe, pero como ella dice, plain y simple, es ella. Es música que ella escribió, que viene de su corazón, que viene de sus pensamientos. Así que todos ustedes, dense la oportunidad de escucharlo, un excelente producto. Simplemente vayan a Amazon Music o iTunes y ahí lo van a conseguir. De igual manera la pueden ver en todo el tour de Alice Cooper. Eh, y esta noche en NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver. Nita, it's been an honor for us to have you as our guest. Thank you so much for your time. Always wishing you success in your career and in your personal life. And let's hope to see you rocking everything and turning the house down on the next T Takeover tonight. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Gracias a usted. Y sigan pendientes a Lucha Libre Online con este fue Michael Morales Torres y Nita Stross para la marca número uno de Pro Wrestling y Combat Sports en español. Y este fue Michael Morales Torres. 
con la legendaria The Hurricane Nita Strauss llegó aquí a Lucha Libre Like gente tuvimos la guitarrista de Alex Cooper ahora por eso fue como que fast, fast, fast a solo horas de NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver esta noche 8 de la noche hora del este WWE Network Peacock USA Network Nita Strauss va a tirar la casa por la ventana así que échenle un ojo esta noche al producto créanme vale la pena y siempre el shout out a mi gente Reconstruction Wear por las camisas Gracias a Reconstruction Wear Por esta camisa con el nuevo logo de Lucha Libre Online Y por esta taza con el nuevo logo de Lucha Libre Online eh, Jay Ledesma siempre votando Se pueden conseguir toda su mercancía en rcwnation.com rcwnation.com Gracias de igual manera a Josh Josh Villalta Que logra hacer esto posible Y al equipo de WWE también Muchas gracias por por conectarnos con, con Nita Strauss a solo horas de su performance. Y hay una guitarra acá, eh, a la parte de atrás, que tiene un significado bastante especial para mi familia. Yo no soy músico, pero déjame sacarla de aquí sin que se destruya. La guitarra es una guitarra española antigua eh, de un gran amigo de la familia, Rey Millán, quien eh, lamentablemente eh, falleció de cáncer. El, el mes pasado falleció su batalla contra el cáncer. Y la guitarra atrás tenía ese propósito, simplemente... Eh, un pequeño homenaje a un buen amigo de la familia, un buen amigo de mi mamá eh, así que Rey, eh, rest in power gracias por todo, y gracias a todos por estar siempre en sintonía de Lucha Libre Online, la verdadera marca número uno de Pro Wrestling Combat Sports, y de vez en cuando música en español, esta fue en inglés pero en español, ustedes me entienden así que sigan al pendiente de Lucha Libre Online este fue Michael Morales Torres <música> <música>